Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports finally did it. They released the unlimited repeatable 85 times 10 SBC alongside of a bunch of unlimited repeatable other SBCs like the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick, the 87 plus upgrade pack. Basically, they said, here you go, 11 days, have at it, and it's the end of the game after these expire, and that is one thing that we thought was going to happen, and it did. So I want to take a look at that because it's crazy that it's September, and we have every single gold card in the game at 2,000 coins. That's where they're like insta-selling at. It's crazy at the prices of these cards in the market because finally, we got the 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable, and we had a surprise SBC by the name of Richarlison. I'm a big fan of this card. A lot of people aren't, but I think it's still cool. It was a bit of a surprise, like I mentioned, because we had no leaks. So I want to take a look at that. But speaking of leaks, today's a big Monday because for FIFA 23 ratings, we are going to be getting more official ratings. No longer do we have to think about were those leaks from last week or a week and a half ago real we're going to get ratings from the source today, the top 23 players from EA. We already had a few yesterday, but it begins. And so begins the FIFA 23 ratings release, and we'll talk about that a little bit today as well. So if you're excited for a finally unlimited repeatable 8510, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that real quick, because one of the things that we mentioned in yesterday's video was... If EA were going to go this route and just drop all of these and basically refresh all the SBCs that expired yesterday, if EA was going to refresh them for 11 to 12 days and just say, hey, here you go, and then leave them for the rest of the game, that in my mind was like, okay, they're turning the corner to FIFA 23. And that is exactly what is happening. Take a look. 85 times 10, unlimited repeatable, 11 days, same requirements, 30 chemistry, 87 rated squad, one team of the week or team of the season. You had the same shapeshifter player pick. You had the same uh, 95 plus shapeshifter player pick. I believe it with all the same requirements. Yeah, 88, 86. So nothing changed requirement wise, but they just released it unlimited repeatable, all of them for 11 days. And consequently, what they are doing today and even what they teased yesterday is FIFA 23 information. So this was literally the final play from EA Sports to say, here is your grindable FIFA 22 content. Have at it. Enjoy the last two weeks of the game. We're going to start talking about FIFA 23. So, again, that's what they did. We never had an Icon Moments SBC. I believe this is going to be the last one. We never had a 94 plus Moments SBC, like an SBC, not from a swaps program or anything like that. That's kind of crazy. Um, but it's all here now. So, if you're still chasing the 99s, if you're still chasing Marcelo, Ginola, Mbappe team of the season, any of those cards, your grind just got a little bit easier. And of course, a lot of people are doing this as well. Take a look at gold prices. They're insta selling a little bit less than 2K, 1.7K insta selling basically for these gold rares and non rares. Anything underneath this is getting bought like right away. It's crazy, right? That just goes to show you how much an unlimited 85 times 10 still has hype with basically two weeks before the full game of the next FIFA is coming out. That's pretty wild. Now, of course, yesterday on the market as well, with the big SBCs being dropped, you saw a lot of these cards fall in price. Your meta cards that people are still chasing after, whether they were packing them yesterday or just selling them to go and do the 85 times 10 and just full send it at the end of the game, whatever the reason was, guys like this Marcelo, he dropped 100,000 coins from 280 down to 180, 190. Ginola is down bad. Basically, every meta card that, was, that is still in packs is down bad. So, you know, there's that little market update, I guess you could say. Ginola was like 660 at one point. And he's back up to 700,000 coins now. But a lot of these prices dropped off yesterday, kind of as you would expect, right? With all of the end game content dropping. And of course, this is the type of SBC people just want to go out and they want to spam it. So just to show you the nice graphical drop off here, 280 on Marcelo all the way to 160. He's bounced back a slight bit. So that was, that was yesterday in a nutshell, right? EA dropped the big boy SBCs. Um, and everybody's going out and doing them. 98% upvote. Look at that on the 85 times 10 unlimited. 2% downvote. I guess the 2% downvote is people that are still upset that it didn't come about three or four weeks ago when we really, really wanted it. But that's here nor there. So finally, we got the big dub. As I said, all of your low tier fodder is up. All gold cards in this game, gold pack method, if you still want to like, you know, get ready for the FIFA 23 grind somehow. Bronze pack method, gold pack method, definitely going to be banging right now with these people, with these, with those cards going up and people still on the game. 
grinding the menus and grinding the 85 times 10 with a little bit of renewed enthusiasm, I would say, because of the unlimited repeatable aspect of that being on the game. Now, also, we had a surprise, Richarlison, right? And this is kind of interesting. If you think about it lately, the leaks have been spot on. Foot Sheriff and all the other guys that leak on Twitter have been spot on with everything for like the past few months. And during this preseason promo, a few things have slipped through the cracks, right? Think about all the objective players. Those were never tweeted out and released as leaks. Um, most of the SBC players have been, but this Richarlison was not. So I don't know if it's just like, you know, not caring about leaks at the end of the game for foot share for what it is, or maybe their EA is finding a new way to get around and to hide some of the leaks. I'm not entirely sure, but 97 Richarlison was released. I'm a big fan of this. Definitely not your most meta striker card, but Richarlison is always a FIFA card. That is an incredible striker. His TOTS cards of years past. His, mo his uh, flashback SBC from early this year was really good. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Nice boost. Maxed out heading. GG's. It's really cheap. So it's a WSBC in my opinion. A lot of people will just pass on it. I completely understand. But again, the end game grind is set, right? And really, for me, what this means is now... I'm probably going to do some of the end game grind, like, you know, the year in review, some of the 85 times 10s, just a few of them, maybe a few more 95 plus shapeshifters, stuff like that. But this to me is really EA saying, I'm, I'm, we're done. Like, we're done with FIFA 22. And it really makes me wonder, are they going to release any more transfer player SBCs? I would only expect maybe one or two. Like, think about where Richarlison was. He was near the end of the window, not at the very end. But, like, of course, people with hopes of a Casemiro or an Anthony, you know, especially an Anthony, that'd be fantastic for a really end game card. But we're really getting close to the time frame where it's like, okay, are, can they do it or can they not? And with them releasing that stuff, basically 11 days left saying, here, we're just putting this here for the end. I'm, they might be done with player SBCs. We'll have to see. So that's kind of the unknown part as of right now. Will we see any more transfers or will we not? But it is a W. The grindable stuff is out. So have at it if you're still playing. That's a GG. Now let's shift gears into FIFA 23 mode because... Today is a huge day on Monday. This is a really, really big day. And just even for a half second, think about how big today would be if we didn't have any of the leaks from the past week and a half of that whole Xbox issue where people were getting on the game early. These ratings would be brand new to us. Now, some of them are still pretty new for the first time, and especially for a lot of casuals out there, these are the first time they're seeing these ratings. But what we're really interested in, these are the ratings that they posted, the FIFA 23 Ambassadors. And if you don't know what Ambassador means, it's basically these players are like signed with EA to be the, the front guys that are on the game. Like if you think about in FIFA 22, you always see Mbappe or, you know, Pulisic or Sun. Some of these guys have been, uh, you know, signed as ambassadors. Phil Foden's another one. They've been signed as ambassadors in the, in the past, this past year of FIFA 22, and they're coming back. But there's some new ones in here as well, right? I believe that uh, Vlahovic is a brand new one. And I think Vinny is a new one as well. I don't think, maybe not, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. Vlahovic is new for sure. But what we're really going to be interested in today is as they start releasing ratings, comparing them to the leaks and seeing if they are correct. Some people are saying that the ratings are different. We'll just have to see though. I mean, I don't really think that EA would have had as big of an issue as they did a week and a half ago with those leaks if the ratings weren't correct or pretty close to correct. So here's the countdown. They're saying it's more than a number. The FIFA 23 player ratings are coming. And now in this tweet, they said, which, uh, no, no, they said, see the top 23 tomorrow, which would be today on Monday. So they're going to show us the top 23 cards today. That's what it sounds like to me. And that really reminds me of what they did last year in FIFA 22 when they started releasing the ratings in terms of like lists. Now, last year they started with the by league. They started with the top players in the Premier League, the La Liga, the Bundesliga, and they kind of went down the top five leagues. And then it took them like a week before they opened up the full entire database. You know, I feel like they're going to do something similar with that, but they're starting with the top 23, which if you actually look at this graphic, I believe three of the players in here, Mbappe, Van Dijk, and Sonaldo, are already in the top 23. So it's only going to be 20 new cards that, of ratings that we haven't seen yet from EA today on Monday. So that's kind of, I guess, the down part of this is that, yes, they're getting us excited for ratings and they're starting the countdown and all this stuff, but really, is it going to mean we're going to see a lot of new things today? 
Probably not. So we'll just kind of have to see what comes when it does drop. Now, one thing that is nice to see is there have been a couple nice upgrades in here. I think everybody's looking at this Pedri card and they're like, man, that card does not look like it should be 85 rated. And I completely agree with you. I think that Pedri's card just does not look very good for the rating that he is in game. You know, it kind of reminds me of like Thomas Muller, how Thomas Muller is always high rated, but then his stats on the card are never that good. And then everybody's comparing like this picture right here, right? Valverde to Pedri and like, man, he's 85. Valverde's card is way better, way more in game stats, way better face card stats. And he's minus one overall rating. That does not make any sense. But hey, we have the same problem every year. The one card I want to draw your attention to, and I tweeted about it earlier today, was this man. Joao Felix getting a plus one overall, but getting plus five passing. But when you see all of those 80 rated stats on a gold card, that's a really cracked looking card, man. 83 pace, 88 dribbling, 80 shooting, 81 passing. I mean, you know, Ambassador's probably the reason why he got such a big upgrade. Let's be completely honest. But uh, that looks like a really, really nice early game striker. So those are all the official, official ratings as of right now. We're going to learn more today. But I wouldn't say that this is going to be a super exciting day today on Monday in terms of ratings. Uh, again, this is something we talked about in that FIFA 23, like, dates to watch out for video. I really just expect some lists and some more of, like, okay, we're going to be getting these sorts of players released every couple days. I mean, even even think about the couple days prior to this, they released the icons on the weekend, right? They showed us the icons. So I would really only expect to see a few players a day. EA is going to drag this process out. They're going to milk it a little bit. That way they can generate some more hype on their end as well. Maybe get some more views, maybe make some more social posts. And again, just try to fill the void between FIFA 22 and FIFA 23. But again, like I said, they're really they're really just saying, okay, FIFA 22, you're basically done with this content that I'm seeing here. I guess just be careful for more leaks. If you're still hoping for a Casemiro for an Anthony, this Richarlison, in my opinion, gives me a little bit of hope for a, a Casemiro or an Anthony because Richarlison's flashback card um, was not released that long before. Was that during team of the season? Yeah, June 23rd. I think that was during team of the season, I believe, closer around there for Richarlison. So, um, you know, that could be could mean that even though we had a footies Casemiro, could we get a transfer one? Or especially an Anthony. Since we had a Tots Anthony, I think we really could see a uh, footies transfer, or sorry, a just a transfer moments player SBC if EA really want to go ahead and do that, which I hope they do. So for me this week on the game, just looking ahead, is going to be finishing up these kickstart objectives, getting my FIFA 23 packs, doing with Charleston, maybe playing a couple games with him, and then, you know, probably sending a few more coins in the 85 times 10 unlimited. I'll be honest, I'm not going to spend all 6 mil. That's, that's a question that so many people are asking me like, Nate, you got to spend your 6 mil. What are you going to do? You can't take the coins with you. Well, I'm probably going to end up having some in the top left. It's just because a lot losing motivation at the end of the game. I, a game. I've done so many upgrade packs. I've packed so many players that I wanted to get. Red list account, I guess. I don't know. We've had really good pack look this year, but so have a lot of other people. So I guess I'm just going to end up with some coins in the top left unless we find out something crazy and fun to do with those. But it is a fun time to grind the end right now if you're still on the game, if you still have motivation to play it. There's excitement there, and there's, of course, excitement with FIFA 23 ratings being released, and hopefully some more information later on this week about ratings, about pitch notes, maybe a web update. That'd be great EA Sports as well. So there's a lot to look forward to right now in the FIFA world. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.